Greetings and salutations, folks, and welcome once again, as always, to another helping of Mr H's Hot Pot. You join me today, sat in the old jalopy, in the town of Tilsley, which is on your way to Manchester. And I don't normally get up this way in the old jalopy, if I'm being honest, Hot Potters. It's unfamiliar territory for me. However, today the weather's a little bit pish, so it means I can't go out on a bimble. However, it means it's the perfect weather for getting back onto the quest of who makes the best pies in the northwest. And I've come to Tilsley today because many of you have recommended in my previous videos that I go and try Whitaker's, which is an old fashioned bakery come pie shop. The same family's had it for over 70 years. I think it was established in 1958. And they're located at Castle Hill with number 31, I believe, which is right next to the swimming baths. And that's where I'm parked up at the moment. I'm just at the back of the swimming baths on a little car park. So without further ado, I'm now going to jump out of the old jalopy, brave that drizzly weather, and go and get myself a meat and prey to pie from Whitaker's and see what they taste like. Right, Hot Potters, welcome back. Just managed to brave that little bit of farm rain out there. That farm stuff that wets you, as Peter Kay says. And I made it back into the old jalopy with the item of comestibility. Let's jump straight into it, shall we? Now, as you could see from that bit of footage there, it's an old-fashioned style of pie shop. You know, little shop with the bakery on the side where all the magic happens. And that's the type of place that we're looking for. So it's looking good, this recommendation. Now, this is what we're dealing with, Hot Potters. Just look at that. Looks absolutely delicious, doesn't it? And my stomach's doing those little somersaults that you get when you can smell something nice in anticipation. It's not a deep pie. It's a shallow pie, but it looks absolutely delicious, I must admit. No frills. It doesn't come in a tin. And as you've just seen, it comes in a plain white paper bag. So no doubt that keeps the cost down a little bit. Speaking of the cost, the price of this item of comestibility was £2.20. Which isn't bad in today's market really. And I'll just cut into it and we'll take a look at the inside. Just smell it. If I had smell a vision on here, your stomach could be doing somersaults as well. and get a, a good cut into it so you can see what it looks like inside. We'll take a look at a slicky of it, shall we? As my wife says, coming from Yorkshire. Slicky. It's funny how you pick things up from the people you're with, isn't it? But, just look at that hot potters. Look at that steaming away there. And again, I would say the mixture on this one is about 50-50. It's not big chunks of potato. They've obviously ground them up. They've put them in some kind of machine and ground it all together. But some people prefer the pies that way. Personally speaking, I don't mind either way, whether it's chunky pieces of potato or farm like this. Anyway, let's get into the taste test, shall we? Mmm, pastry is nice. It's not too thick. And the contents of that pie are absolutely delicious. For those of you out there who recommended Whitaker's, Bob on, top marks. Mmm, lovely. Do you know what, Potters? I might even nip back for a second one later on. But for now, I'll just let that cool down a little bit. And I'll put it there. I'll finish that later off cam as always. And we'll sum this one up. Well, it's very easy to get to, the pie shop. It's not too bad. There's plenty of parking spaces around the baths. You just have to get in and find one and jump into it. So that's a good hole. There's nothing worse than searching around and you can't find. You have to walk miles to get to it, especially on a day like today when it's drizzling. Another good sign when I got to the pie shop was... There was a number of builders and white van men in there, which is always a good sign of a decent pie shop. And I cannot understand why these shops 
such as the one that I visited in my last video, are knocking the price up past three quid and that way on because builders are not going to pay it simply. I did get one commentator on the last video and he said, it's a bargain. Well, I'd like to know where you live in the country and what your average price is if you think £3.10 is a bargain. But £2.20, yeah, it's creeping up though regarding the price, but I don't mind paying that. And as such, it means it qualifies for five pies for Mr H. And you know what, Hot Potters? That's what I'm going to give it. So Hot Potters, Whittakers of Tilsley score five pies on Mr H's pie scale. And that is the top marks that I can give it. Fully worth me coming all the way out from Wigan to sample them pies. So Hot Potters, that does it for today's little quest for who makes the best pies in the Northwest. A big thank you to everybody who recommended this pie shop. I can recommend it also. So, once again, if you have any recommendations for your favourite pie shop, please leave a comment below. But that'll just about do it for today. I'm going to wrap this one up here and continue with the rest of this pie. So, from myself, Mr H, until the next time as always, when hopefully I will be out and about on a bimble, it is... Bye-bye for now. Well, I'm going to finish this off.